Hello again human beings from the planet Earth. I'm kind of multitasking. I got a lot of shit to do today, uh, but I wanted to get this up and there's a video processing and so I'm recording with this uh, so I can keep the computer running smoothly uh, and not burden it. Anyway, feds to landowner, don't touch that trash. I, I saw that email uh, alert from WND and I'm like, what the fuck? Because I've had enough on a lot of stuff and the attack on personal people now by the big government, uh, singling them out and just doing these stupid instances is, well, it's why I do the YouTubes, even though, uh, you see, they don't generate income. I mean, I do accept donations to the website, but that's slow. Everybody's in tough shape, and that's not my goal. I'm just trying to keep going with this type of stuff because uh, in the radio shows... Uh, because people like this need a voice, people need to be woken up, nobody's doing it. I, I gotta give something back in my lifetime. Um, and so this is where I think I fall in. And I am fucking horrified. I mean, we're attacking people that grow gardens in their yards now. Okay, these people uh, aren't allowed to use their land. And there's a couple things I want to point out here. Uh, I'm going to overview what I read. You can go read it if you want. Okay, these people bought land, 20 acres of desert land, Santa Fe, New Mexico, um, probably near where they drop radioactive bombs, but I don't know that to be true. But anyway, uh, they can't use the land. they got to move off it. There's a big lawsuit because of the Clean Water Act or whatever. There's a dry riverbed, a dry riverbed, so no water, but, but a dry riverbed. So they think the government has control, and it says in here that because of that it is uh... what oh, right here in the smith case the couple was told by the u.s Cor army corps of engineers that a dry creek bed on their land was a water of the united states and therefore subject to the clean water act and now if you, you're not informed and you're not awake you're going to say yeah that belongs to the united states that's all of us no united states is a corporation independent of itself, independent of you, uh, that's not your water. That is the water of the United States Supreme Court verifies it because of the Clean Water Act. Now this is now this is a little lesson here, see, because they passed the Clean Water Act and we the people allowed that, obviously, because if we didn't allow it, it wouldn't have happened because this is our country, right? So we have to take responsibility. We signed up for that agreement which gave them the water. It's not the water of the people of the United States. It, it's the corporation's water. So these people can't use the land the way they want to. That's the first fucking horror in this story. Okay? The first horror. Uh, somebody buys their land. If it doesn't affect their neighbor, they, they should be able to do whatever the hell they want on it. If it doesn't affect anyone else. Um, now... Let's take this to a level that should wake anybody up from their sleep. Not only can they not, uh, the, they're being told they can't build on it and per whatever the fuck they can't do with their own land. They can't even clean it up. But no, you heard me right. They've been trying to, as they can, pick up the trash that has been spread out over those 20 acres for a long time. It was used as a dumping ground because it's so remote and they're trying to pick the trash up they're not allowed to do that not allowed to do that and I'm going to see if I can quickly find that there's a lot of stuff in here and again that's why I'm just scanning through you need if you want all the details uh, or you want to say that can't be true go ahead and read it for yourself I'm telling you that this is fucking vile and bullshit and 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 this is why uh, I'm doing the, the talk radio too to go beyond the YouTube to to give people a voice. Uh, matter of fact, tonight is Thursday. I have a great show lined up tonight. But this is why, because people like these people need someone fighting for them uh, that they don't have to necessarily pay, like attorneys who just don't do what they're supposed to half the time anyway. And when they do, they suck all your resources dry, so you're still fucked. Doesn't matter, right, wrong, or indifferent. If you can't function in your life because you've paid all your money to defend yourself, then you can't do anything anyway. 
Um, it's ridiculous. And, and I want to go beyond the radio shows, folk. I'm, I'm hoping that by the end of the school year, between whatever resources I can gather up and whatever um, support comes in via the website, that I will be able to take this type of show on the road with live reports. Um, I have one official request to report on uh, some news injustice in California. I have another one that's been verbalized. I'm waiting for the written confirmation so I can add that to the website. And, and I want to go to these places. Um, in the meantime, the radio show is how I'm doing it. So if you've been uh, beat up by the system, if you've incurred injustice, you've been fighting your cause and nobody's listening, Give me an idea of what you're going through, who you are, and say, I want two hours of airtime. And you'll join me on a Thursday evening, and we will work together to get information for you if you need it, or just put together the people who will listen to your situation and try to make some changes. And changes are already being made by the radio station. I won't get into that. I'm into this right now. These people need a voice. This is absolute bullshit. I, I don't know. But again, okay? You voted your way into this, folks. you got to take responsibility. And that's fine. Everybody makes mistakes. Nobody's in trouble here. But now realize that you've done wrong by voting. Voting in these things. You did it. I don't vote. Never have. So I cannot take responsibility for this. But I can take responsibility for not doing what I'm doing now uh, 15, 20 years ago when I somehow knew that it was all a fucking lie rather than avoid the system I mean I avoided it now uh, I want to know everything about it and I'm and I'm trying to make amends for what I should have done then so we're all in the same fucking boat here I'm not better than you you're not less than I am but we're fucking wrong and it's time to stand up so anyway I'll link you to the WND post you can read this for yourself but now you buy land you can't even clean the trash up and you voted your way into it and it's all good for you, and it's complete and utter bullshit. Complete and utter bullshit. Oh, hey, real quick. Huh? Right there? All ready for you. Yeah, all ready for you. The FEMA coffin. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Much love. Many thanks. And uh, catch the live show tonight. 7 p.m. East Coast time, ucy.tv. Uh, my guest, Barbara Gruner book writer, uh, heiress who had all of her money stolen by the governmental program. She's going to tell you all about that. Link to the uh, post will be below. I'll link you to the uh, radio show too, the chat room. I'm sure she'll have some links to share with us and uh, should be a good show. Wake you up about a few other things you need to know. Um, ties to the Reagan administration, uh, other stuff you need to hear. So anyway, I'm out of here. Much love, many thanks, and uh, I'll see you guys tonight. Hey, you